Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another Disney doll unboxing. Today we have got the Target exclusive Disney 100 retro reimagined Ariel doll. And she is very cute. I did luck into finding her in stores and she retails for $30. She has this very cute asymmetrical box which is great for everything except for display where you stack boxes. Cause she leans. But she is very cute. She's got a little bit of a description here on the back that says celebrate Disney 100 with Ariel from Disney's Little, Mer Little Mermaid. Worn on her enchanting tour of the kingdom, Ariel's blue fashion is reimagined here in elegant satin and charmeuse with the festive plaid details and nautical inspired shoes. Now this is of course by Mattel, now that Mattel has the license back. Here is the UPC in case you're trying to find her in stores. And we'll be right back with her out of the box. All right, we've got her out of the box and she looks great. Now she does have articulated knees and articulated elbows. They are not super articulated to the point that I would love them to be, but she is probably the most articulated doll we've gotten so far. But she is gorgeous. Like the face up, the side glance, the sort of darker lip than we usually get, the nice fun plaid bow. Her hair, even fresh out of the box, is not bad. It's not great as far as the gel, but a quick little rinse and she will look amazing. So she does come with a little underskirt crinoline. So that's wonderful. And her outfit is actually like four pieces. Oh, but let's take a look at her shoes. They've got this really dark navy, but you can kind of see the ship rope and like the portholes and things that are on her shoes. It's really hard to show in this light for some reason. Um, but she's really cute. But let's take a look at her outfit piece by piece. So most importantly, she has got her little corset. This is in a blue pleather that does not really have a lining, unfortunately, but it's really, like, very pretty. Like, I'm here for it. I love a nice leather corset. Uh, and then after that, we've got our, uh, we've got our overskirt. It is nice. The plaid is hemmed. It does have a ribbon border here at the edge. Nice Velcro here at the back. Very nice waist construction, because it's not elastic. Um, and it's not pleated, which is great. And then let's take a look at our top. So we have got our little blousey top. right here. Again, nice and constructed to the bodice. Um, it is designed to be tucked into the skirt, so you don't really have to worry about that bottom part right there. But it is lovely. It does have elastic here on the top part because it's designed to kind of shrug down over the shoulders. So that's nice. And this is what the crinoline underneath looks like. There is not elastic or anything up here. You just have to kind of pull it down. I would be careful and pull from like the top. Um, but, oh, now you can see it a little bit better, those shoes. Um, but yes, so of course this is the new Disney princess body. She does not have articulated wrist, which I would love. If she had articulated wrist and articulated ankles, it'd be perfect, but with the new Disney princess feet, I'm not too worried about that because we don't have that many shoes that match them yet. 
but she is a gorgeous sculpt, a great face up. She is a 2022 sculpt, obviously from when they got it back. She is the same sculpt as the um, Playline Ariel, at least I'm pretty sure. Um, but she is an entirely different face up, which I think really does capture the character a little bit more than what we've kind of gotten before. Let me see. I have an aerial close at hand somewhere. Um, I will show you guys the difference. No, that's Bell. Yes, I have her in her pink. Okay. So we have, whoop. So here is our classic Ariel that we got compared to the newer one. As you can see, very cute. I did put this one on an extra Barbie body, so she is wearing a Shop Disney dress, but this is a great alternative for that considering she's pretty decently articulated. Like, I'm not upset, upset about it. I do wish for some of these more classic, like, collector dolls that they're doing, that they would be 100% articulated, because I know Mattel has the capability to do it. Um, but, you know, it's fine. So... We've got our crinoline, of course, that goes on first. And then we're going to put our shirt back on. Ba -ba -ba. Careful of the fingers, but these are actually pretty nice and wide sleeves. So you don't really have to worry about it quite as much as you do with a lot of the tighter sleeves that we get a lot of the times. Especially on a doll like this where the hands are not removable and the fingers are pretty widely splayed. Um, it is nice to have those. Um, it is nice to have those. Uh, whatchamacallum. What is the word? Burn? No. <laughs> um. It is nice to have those articulated bodies with a little bit of extra. So we do this. We can kind of pull this down just a little bit. And we're going to shove it into the skirt. If we can try to get this in there nicely. I generally find it's easier to just kind of pull up and get to the point that you want and then pop it down on these kind of skirts when they have crinolines underneath. Um, but it's fine. All right. And we do that. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we got our corset, bustier, whatever we're going to call it today, that we put back. Just like that. Now, you can try to get it to be a little bit more off the shoulder, of course, but she looks great out of the box, which I love. Um, I love a doll that's actually designed to look how it's supposed to look. Um, but it is always nice to have those customization options. But she is a gorgeous doll. And really, there's not much else to say about her. She is a $30 doll 
that's about the price point that I would expect this to be because the materials are higher, the body is articulated, the shoe is a new mold, the face up is new. So all in all, I think Mattel did a great job with this doll and I would love to see the rest of the Disney princesses get this kind of treatment because this is not too far off of what she's actually wearing in the film. It's an outfit that doesn't get done a whole lot anymore. And, you know, it's pretty iconic. So, if you guys have any questions about this doll, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Happy holidays, y'all. Bye.